Welcome to my weekly roundup of what I've been up to in Hackney and Westminster this week. Well, it's been a very Brexit and therefore a Westminster focused week. On Monday, Parliament voted to take control of the agenda and finally get those votes on various other options other than Theresa May's withdrawal agreement. It was much reported in the press that this was a lot of defeats. There were eight options and none of them uh, won out. But two came to the fore. One, a vote in favour of a customs union. And secondly, that any agreement should be put to the people in a second referendum. I also voted that if we were faced with no deal, that we should revoke Article 50. Today, I've just come from the voting lobbies where I voted again against Theresa May's withdrawal agreement and she was roundly defeated. She came to the dispatch box to say that she will now listen to Parliament and look to extend Article 50. But we've heard these words before and we can't be sure what will happen. On Monday, I hope we have few options now to choose from. We've narrowed it down. Uh, The Speaker will have a key role in choosing what we get to vote on. And we still have the option to vote again on Wednesday to see if Parliament can coalesce around an agenda that forces the government's hand in European negotiations. But all of this does point to, at the very least, a longer extension of Article 50, because it simply isn't possible to deliver all the practical things that would need to be delivered, even if we get to the point of agreement on a different deal. And of course, we need to renegotiate with the EU 27. Rest assured that I have Hackney's interests at heart. I have the UK's interests at heart. I'll be watching closely to make sure we get the best possible outcome.